It's back to school season again, and for many parents, that means it's time for the annual shopping trip. Well, our next guest wasn't impressed with the selection of children's clothing available for her daughter, so she dusted off her sewing machine and hit the thrift store to reimagine their wardrobes. She, I love this. She uses tablecloth, sheets, curtains, you name it, to make her daughter's clothing. It's made her an Instagram sensation and a favorite of... Vogue magazine, and she's here to tell us all about it. Elisa Bertrand joins us from her creative space in Atlanta. Congratulations on this. Thank you so much. This is crazy. You were introduced to sewing as a young girl. You even took a class in junior high school, but you say yes. that you love the freedom of being able to create whatever you want, but you were never able to sew for yourself. Why not? I, I just don't have time. By the time I'm constantly thinking for the girls and what I can make, <laughs> I just don't have the time. You don't have the time to sew for yourself, but you have time to sew for your children, which as a mom, exactly. that they're, they are <laughs> our priority. Um, when you started to look out at the clothes that were available or that are available, what did you feel was missing? Honestly, it was the prints. It was the style. It was the colors. I'm not a fan of screen prints that you wash and they literally fall apart from the next wash to the next wear. Um, so it was like almost like going somewhere and not finding anything that I liked to a point where I was like, well, I can sew. So let's start creating what I like. And so you could sew, but you'd never sewn for your own children. At the time, no, because I was a young mom and my main concern was like, let's take care of the kids. Um, and then it wasn't only until like recently that I was like, you know, I can sew. It's my passion. It was a dream that I've always had. And it was like, now is the time to kind of pick that up again. And that's kind of where I started all over again in creating for the three youngest girls that I have. It's beautiful, beautiful stuff. We have the quilt dress, um, a dress that you made, um, $4 quilt. Uh, yes. I mean, how did you see the quilt and then in your mind think, I know what I can do. I can make a beautiful dress out of that. Um, it's not usually until I actually get it home or something and I start looking at it to say, you know, what can I make of this? What would it look really great in? Um, and that particular piece was like, it should be a dress because it was quilted and I wanted to try and save as much of the fabric as I could in making something larger versus like a top and bottom. I mean, how do your kids get involved? But I also have to ask as a mom, I am sure every time your children walk out the door, people are like, oh my God, look what this she has on. This is a gorgeous, where'd you get it from? And you are able to proudly say, I made it. That That's the rewarding part is like saying that I've actually made this piece and you know, they're like wondering where they can get it. So it, it's a great feeling though, when people start to ask like, oh, where'd you get that? And it's like, no, I made it. So. And you were profiled in Vogue magazine last September. They said, you've created a fashion playground for kids with the impressive array of upcycled children's creations that you feature on your page. Um, you know, it, it has to really be rewarding because honestly, this started out of practicality and now you're in the glamorous pages of Vogue magazine being mentioned. Is it surreal? Yeah. It honestly really is. I honestly started my Instagram as using it as a way of trying to create a portfolio because I did want to go back to fashion school and just get those extra elements that I should learn and know. Um, so it started there, but as it's gone on, I've just been shocked and amazed and so surprised by the support and just being recognized by people and brands that I never thought I would have. Well, that's because what you're doing is incredible. Elisa, you've been making them clothes for years. How many pieces do you think you have? And do you, because you are into upcycle and recycle, do you give them away after they've worn them? I've probably made at this point, I mean, hundreds. I honestly don't get rid of them because I have this like emotional attachment and connection to them. But it's honestly time to like seriously start selling these pieces off because I can only hold on to so many at this point. <laughs> right. So Jada and Jayla, you are twins, but you have yes. your own sense of style. Jada, what do you look for or what do you like mom to make for you? Well, honestly, I really like dresses because they're very practical every season. Short sleeve, long sleeve, it doesn't matter. I love how you just explained that. I mean, you could be in PR. I, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Thank um, you. Jayla, what do you think? I mean, everyone is talking about how 
your mom is just incredible. I know you already know she is, but what do yeah. you think of all the attention she's getting? Oh, it's super cool. It's amazing how she just, just does all this cool stuff and everyone loves it. Elisa, I mean, I think as a mom, that is probably one of the most rewarding things to have your children see you do something you love and invest your heart and soul into it. It's, it's great to have a Vogue magazine say this, of course, but having them know how hard you're working, that has to be so satisfying. It, it's truly special, and I just think and hope that it's something that we can continue to carry as they get older so that we can continue to be together and grow with one another and just have that connection so that we always have something to do together. Are you planning to turn this into a full-time business? Are you going to open up a specialty shop? What's next here? I'm actually currently trying to work on creating my own brand and label so that I can, you know, sell to others and become a designer because that was my initial, you know, hope in the first place. It was honestly never to do children's wear. It was always supposed to do you know, women's wear. So hopefully now I get that opportunity and chance.